Welcome to the vlog. Today is Wednesday. It's about lunchtime here. Uh, I have just got in from college. It's been a busy, busy day or so. Uh, yesterday was a long day. It was a full day of college followed by work. I uh, didn't get in until gone one o'clock last night. And then this morning it was up again early to go into college for class. And now I'm home. I'm not working tonight, so I've got a bit of time to recoup and recover and get a few things shot and on video. Uh, so what has been going on? Well, uh, not a huge amount. I'm vaping away in there. I've got the Ant-Man 22 on top of the RX200 here. Now the Ant-Man is the RDA that came with the Tesla SIG Terminator, which is this little device right here. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned a couple of days ago in the vlog that I had trouble with the 510 on this. I had to take it apart and repair it. Well, I've had a couple more issues on this. Uh, so yesterday I was using this as my main device. Uh, so I took with me an additional 16850 battery fully charged so that I could change it over when the battery went. And I did that. I went to change it over. And when I went to take the battery door off, exactly the same thing that's just happened now is the magnets, which you can't see in there because there should be a magnet at either end came out now here's one of them so that's the magnet i'm talking about and that fits in one of these slots i'm just going to pop it back in here uh but what happened is when the when this happened the first time i wasn't aware that the magnet had come out all i knew was that the back head st wouldn't stay stuck on it was just i put it on it would just fall off uh, and I took a look and I realized that the magnets had come off this and one of them had actually attached itself to the battery that I'd taken out, which is not a good thing. Uh, so I was able to find that. I couldn't find the other one. So now when I've got it in, it's loose at the bottom. It's only held on by the one magnet now. Uh, so that's one problem I had with this. The other problem I had was later on in the day, uh, using the second battery and the charge was starting to go on it. Now this does have a built-in USB to charge it, so I tried that. Uh, you can see it's got the USB port there. But what actually happened was the connection inside the USB had shifted. So I couldn't get the, the USB to actually plug in. So it took a bit of maneuvering. I had to use a couple of tools to try and adjust it. And eventually I was able to, but it was a bad connection. I couldn't get the USB to sit right. I had to sort of level the USB uh, cables and get it in the right position so it would charge. So that's more issues that I've had with this little device. So uh, I'm aiming to get a review done on this to later on today, uh, just while it's still working, uh, to actually do a review. Uh, but I wanted to give a test of the Ant-Man on a separate device. So that's why I've got it on the RX200 here, just so that I can be impartial on the RDA. Uh, so, so I'm not judging it based purely on its use on that device, so I can judge it on its own merit. So what else has been happening? Well, this happened. And you can see from that picture there that I've broken the glass on the Vape Pen 22. So what ha what happened there was I had it in my hoodie pocket. I went to get in the car and it fell out of my pocket and hit the concrete. And this happens to everyone at some point where you drop your vape and the glass for the tank breaks. Now, with some of the sort of bigger tanks, like the likes of the Big Baby Beast, you get a second glass with it, so you've got a replacement ready to go. Unfortunately, with this vape pen, because it is a low-cost item, you don't get a spare glass with it. However, because it is a low-cost item, replacements aren't that expensive, and I can actually, I've actually found where I can get three replacement glasses for only £2. So, I'm going to get that, I'm going to order that up, so I can get that back in back in circulation but at the moment it's sitting here i've got it right here and there's no glass in there it's just been held together by the coil i did vape off what juice there was left on the coil but now it's completely dry so uh i'm not going to touch it because that will just burn that coil out and i want to keep that coil in good condition so uh that's out of action for the next few days until those replacement glasses come so I'm still vaping away on the Ant-Man on top of the RX200. The other vape I'm using today is my GX350 with the Big Baby Beast on it. And this is purely down to the batteries that I've got charged at the moment. Both of these devices have full charge, or they had full charge this morning. So I've got other batteries charging up, so it should be fine. Uh, 
so the plan for the rest of the day uh i'm not gonna work today which means that i've got a bit of chill out time but as you can see i'm pretty tired at the minute so i think i'm gonna have a bit of a snooze bit of a chill out and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna make the video for the ant-man and terminator combo gonna get that review done and in the can i've got a couple other videos i want to get done a couple of preview videos to make to get done whether i get them done today is a whole other thing uh, tomorrow is likely to be a no video day because it is another full day of college and full day of work so it's another one of those long days but friday on the other hand is a day off no work no college and i have a plan of what is happening on friday uh so uh if plan goes ahead it will be a lot of video content cut being made and i'll get that all cut together it'll probably not go up on friday if things go ahead it's more likely it'll come up on saturday but it will be it will be an interesting one so for the minute i'm gonna have a chill have a vape put my feet up and possibly have a snooze and i'll come back on the vlog in a little while and let you know what's going on what videos i've got made and any other sort of news that's going on So it is now quite a bit later on in the day. Uh, I went to bed. I had a bit of a sleep. You see, I look a bit more awake now. Uh, it is about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, so when I did wake up again, I had some dinner. And, well, I made a video and then I had some dinner. So I've done the vid the full review on the Tesla SIG Terminator with the Ant-Man. Uh, so that full review has done. Uh, as I've gone over through the vlog, I've had a few issues with this, so the review is quite long. It's about 20 minutes long. Quite a lot of stuff to cover in that review. I'll throw a link up for that if you want to jump over and take a look at that. It is quite in-depth, and it does cover all the all the issues I had with this, and uh, gives my honest feedback on this device. Uh, so that's me caught up on all the reviews that I had to do. I've uh, not got any more new devices that have come in since then. No new juices, so I'm all caught up on the reviews, which is fine. So I'm going to have to get some more stuff in if I want to do any more reviews at this point. I was going to try and do a couple of preview videos, but I've just run out of time. Not enough time to get that done today. I uh, doubt I'm going to get any time tomorrow to do any reviews or any videos at all. Uh, full day of college, full and then on to work tomorrow so it's a busy busy long day again although friday is a down day nothing going on on friday work or college wise so that's a good day off for me coming and there'll definitely be some video made on friday uh saturday is a work day as is sunday but i don't start work on saturday until two o'clock so uh although i am doing 10 hours on saturday so it's going to be a long day and sunday is a day daytime shift so there should be time to get some video content put together during that period as well. So that should be fine. Uh, but that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's vlog. Right, I'm going to add in a new section here at the end of the vlog. And that is going to be comment shout outs. So you leave a comment in any of my videos and I will shout you out. Uh, I'm going to pull comments from any of the videos that I've got. If you want if you want a shout out, just leave a comment on this video or any of my other videos. I will see them. I do read all the comments. I don't reply to them all. I don't always get enough time to reply to them, but I do read them all. Uh, I'm going to try and reply more often. But if I can't, if you leave a comment, I will try and get as many shout outs done in the end of the vlogs. For the comments that you're leaving there so today's shout out goes to jamie mcgowan uh there's your comment up there mate thank you very much for that these comments mean a lot for me you left your comment on the vape pen 22 on that review thank you very much for that comment it really means a lot when i get these uh so if you want a shout out as well like jamie leave a comment below leave a comment in any of the videos and i will give you a shout out at the end of a vlog uh all that usual good stuff here like comment share subscribe go follow me on the twitter the at one purple mongoose patreon still running www.patreon.com forward slash purple mongoose please jump on over take a look at that and as ever vape on <laughs>